All right, uh, a friend of mine emailed me. He has a project in mind and he wanted to know if I could design him a circuit. Um, so here are some of the parameters he has on his circuit. He wants to drive eight LEDs. So he's doing multi-spectral stuff. He'll have like a red, green, blue, and, and he'll mix them to make different colors or maybe add in some other LEDs as well. But he wants an eight channel, eight channel uh, device. He wants to drive these eight LEDs from zero to one amp. So it's be able to have a one knob that sets how much current each LED is getting. In addition to the current mode, he also wants PWM. So he will set a current, max current, and then he wants to do pulse width modulation on, on that from zero to 100%. And then he wants frequency of pulses to be somewhere between, say, 1 and 10 kilohertz. Um, so uh, I haven't really done much of this. I'm, I'm late on his project. Um, oh, I didn't guarantee him a date or anything, but I said it might be good for an MSI guy program. Um, so what I've decided to do is um, for the pulseless modulation, I'm going to have a, a, tr a triangle wave generator. So this generates a triangle wave up and down, up and down. And um, then it runs into a comparator. And so I'm going to uh, set a comparator. So if I'm uh, at the very, very bottom, I get all of it. So it's 100%. If I go off the top, it's zero. And then I go in between it, it will set the pulse width with that comparator. Uh, so that's what the next part of the circuit does is pulse width modulation. And then it goes into a current source, which is an op amp. Uh, a NFET and a, a monitor diode for the current. So like a one ohm, one volt will give me one amp um, and have some way of setting the current here. And then I need some way of modulating it. So I'm gonna reach in somewhere. I'm gonna pull it down to ground that'll turn it off and that'll turn it off with this pulse width modulation. Um, I thought of maybe two ways of doing that. One would be to pull down on the control voltage of the current source, just ground the ground that out, make it either max whatever current you have set or ground it so it goes to zero. So zero, max, zero, max, zero, max. And then um, the other way to do it would be for to do current steering. So have one amp all the time, but do current steering either through the LED or through a different FET. And so this, these are just placeholders. I might do it that way. I might do it this way. If I do it this way, I can just use a tiny little FET like a 2N7000. If I do it over here, I have to have a one amp FET. And I'm getting up in voltage a little bit, but I don't think that'll be a problem. Anyway, I think both ways would work. Um, today, what I wanna do is, is, is look at this circuit right here. What I'm nervous about is when I pulse width modulate this op amp, this control circuit might oscillate, might do some funny things and stuff. And so we will try that out. So like I said before, if I want a certain current here, I'll set a certain voltage here. And um, we can take a look at that. I have a, a circuit down here. I have an LED on, on load. And over here, I'm looking at the voltage across that one ohm resistor. So I have uh, some voltage. I can reach in with my uh, tweaker here and I can control that voltage up and down. So I can make it go high, I can make it go low. If I set it right on this line here, it's 100 milliamps. Um, so that works good. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the pulse width modulation. So I'm going to hook up my uh, hook up my pulses. And I'm not doing, I'm not prototyping all of this circuit. I'm just using a 555 and I'm just whacking it on and off with a 555. So this is just what I have. Um, and we can see that it is, it is whacking it up and down. It, it's at that current and then it goes down to zero and then it goes back to that current, goes down to zero. But it looks like we're getting some ringing here. And uh, I don't like that the uh, scope's not triggering. Um, and uh, I don't like that the current's going higher. So it's going up to like 150 milliamps and I don't like that, okay? So people are gonna say, oh, that's control theory. You need to go model that in spice and you know, you'll get in trouble and da da da. But that's, uh, that's too much work. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that I need to slow this loop down and it's probably this turn on and off is too quick. So I'm gonna put a capacitor right here on this node. All right, and I'll just use my favorite capacitor. I'll use a 0 0.01 and, uh, and we will see. Okay, I've added the capacitor and uh, 
it is dampening it a little bit. Maybe I need a little bit more, a little bit more capacitance. All right, well, that doesn't seem to be working too good. Uh, I think it's the layout of the board. It's very difficult to get good results from these uh, breadboards. It may be that that ringing is just the breadboard itself. Uh, you don't know. Um, so, all right, so I've been playing around a bit. I found a better place for the capacitor. It is layout, it is re layout related is a, there is some problems on the PC board. I mean, on the um, proto board because of uh, stray capacitances and inductances and stuff. So anyway, there's there's a better place for that capacitor. Uh, I'm not getting any overshoot. It's kind of it's kind of killed that that oscillation down. Um, so it looks a lot better if I pull if I pull that out. You can see it gets worse, right? So so I'm convinced that there is a spot for a capacitor to roll things off. Everything looks great. Um, so no spice needed. Um, <laughs> um, so, so this part here all works. And all I would have to do is prototype this section here to make sure it works, but there's nothing to go wrong over here. I'm, I'm convinced that'll be okay. I just wanna make sure I don't have plus and minuses backwards or do, doing something stupid um, uh, like on the comparator and stuff. So anyway. I'll, uh, I'll probably uh, breadboard that next. We'll try that out. And if I can get that working, then we'll, we'll lay out a PC board and uh, maybe hand it to my friend and say, here, you, you, <laughs> you troubleshoot it. I got it this far.